Ito ulit, okay. So, magandang araw mga Katija FI. Magandang gabi, magandang umaga from all of our Katija FI watching us right now. We are live here in the TJ uh, FI hub. So, we're here in the office. So, I have some TJ FI people watching me right now. So, I hope that you have learned so far from um, our first speaker which is Miss Salve Duplito. So, I don't know. Uh, she has, uh, she had um, shared a lot to us okay, kung bakit kailangan natin pag-aralan ng financial literacy, ang financial education. Alam nyo kami sa TGFI, ganyan din kami, we, we, um, we also value the importance of financial literacy in the Philippines. Well, in fact, when we started, um, it, all, it all started in the TGFI forum. It all started by us being serious in what we do. Nagsimula yan na, ano lang kami, dedicated lang namin, kami na gusto namin ipahiwatag, ah, sorry, pahiwatig, sorry, rather, ipahiwatig sa inyo ang mensahe na nais namin padala which is the importance of financial education at kung paano ito makakatulong para mahulma ang edukasyong pinansyal ng ating mga um, kapamilya, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan. So, you right now you are here and the reason why you are here it's because you want to know more. Why? Um, how? How can you create your own TGFI community? Is it right? Okay. You know, you know what? For the past, uh, we're we're about to become four years. For for about four years now, um, marami na tayong mga nakasama na mga katijafi. So these are all volunteers. So we we started well. It it all started from my story, and then eventually, lumaki po tayo na lumaki. So right now we have uh, around 22, 23 communities all around the world. Yes, and later you you'll get to know no, kung sino sino po yung ating mga um, TGFI officers, TGFI leaders who are selfless enough to dedicate their time and um, effort to to let yung mga kababayan natin na matuto about the importance of financial education. No? It's a very selfless act, act that we think that kailangan nating i-share sa buong mundo. Which is also why TGFI is here. But before that, I want to of course share my story again. No? Para dun sa mga hindi pa po nakaka- Alam, yung mga first time to attend um, or to get to know me, okay? Alam naman po na lalo, when I started, I started from, um, when I started, when I graduated from college, uh, I used to don't know what I really want in, in my life, no? Um, well, in fact, nung ako pa yung graduate, uh, since I don't know what job for me, ang ginawa ko po niyan is, uh, I, I, I tried a job, which is a marketing job, so, do ko na realize tayo, parang parang hindi ako pag-marketing eh, kasi I feel that I be, I can uh, be better than what I have or what I, I was back then. Kasi alam ko, ay, alam ko, magaling ako, bata pa ako. I know, a lot of companies will be crazy enough na ma-hire ako. Okay? So, patuloy-patuloy po yan. Along the way, um, naging ganun din naman yung way, uh, way of spending ko, no? Nung, ito lagi, I always share this to those who are, who get to watch my talks. I will share this when when I got my first pay. Okay, supposedly, di ba pagka nakuha mo yung first salary mo, no? Supposedly, ibibigay mo yan sa magulang mo eh. Kasi you're proud that, Ma! Dad! Ito, sweldo ko, kayo na bahala. Supposedly, ganyan, di ba? But what happened to me is different eh. Kasi, nung time ko, I got my first pay. The first thing I did is, of course, I called all my friends. So sabi ko sa kanila, libre ko kayo, tara. Akong bahala. Ganun. And then the next uh, pay that I got, I went to the casino and spent all of it. So ganun, that, that's how bad I was when I handled my finances. Same, nung nag ako, job hunting ako. I got five jobs in five years. Uh, bakit? Kasi ang mentality ko nun is if I have a good job, I get a better pay. Which is just right. For, for some, no? Diba? New company, better pay, higher pay. So ganun na yung mentality ko. Feeling ko, oh, someday I'll be financially free. Someday I'll be... I'll be rich kasi I get to have the best jobs out there and then I don't mind kung, kung ano man yung, yung trabaho. I know that I can I can overcome it. I know I, I can become great with it. And yes, of course, five jobs in five years. Na, ko. But the thing is that in terms of handling my finances, yun yung naging problema ko. Right? Kasi um, even though I got better pay, I got higher pay, from every time I skip from one job to the other, yung spending habits ko, yun yung naging problema eh. Until one time, I saw myself with nothing. I saw myself z uh, zero. Well, in fact, I, I, when, I, uh, when I was, uh, one time, no, nung nasa bahay ako, um, I was sleeping. 
And then suddenly, a guy came to the house, sa bahay po namin, and then naka oh, ano siya, office uniform, ah, sorry, naka police uniform. I was so afraid na baka huli na ako. Yung pala, this guy is pretending to be a police officer, sinisingil ako with my credit card debt. So, ganun po kalala. My, my debt went to, at, I think, around 7 digits. So, I, I thought I was already lost back then. Kasi, how can I pay all of it? Kasi, I, I have, I, I, I only have my job. I don't have a savings. When I check on my ATM during that time, it's zero. So, that goes to show, I was bankrupt during that time. I'm already negative. Sabi ko sarili ko, wala nang way. Anong, anong paraan para makawala ako dito? Until one, until one time, I checked on my sister kasi my sister was, uh, uh, she worked in Singapore. So sabi niya, oh, dito ka na lang, try mo dito magtrabaho. And then I tried. Okay? Well, then I, I already realized na, sige, siguro, pang ibang bansa na yung, yung skills ko, siguro, it's about time that I need to get out of my comfort zone. Na, sige, siguro malalayo man ako for a while, but I know that I have a better salary, I have a better pay. So I went to Singapore, I became an OFW. When I was an OFW, of course, since I still don't know how to handle my finances way, uh, my finances well, no? Um, I had to learn things the hard way. Um, yeah. When I got my first pay when I was in I was an OFW, I I was so crazy, I was so happy that I got around six digits of salary. First time in my life na nakakuha ko ng ganito kalaki, sabi ko, wow, six digits. What should I do? Never ako nakakuha ng ganito. Siguro ko itutuloy ko to for the next uh, year, I'm already a millionaire. Hindi ko na kailangan bayaran yung utang ko kasi I'm already overseas eh. Hindi naman nila ako mahabol. Okay? So the first thing I did, I went to the mall. Okay? And then when I went to the mall, I saw this watch. Okay? This watch cost around 70,000 pesos. So I spent 70%, more than 70% of my salary on just that uh, that moment. Okay? That's how bad I was. That's how bad I handled my finances. Until one day, I saw myself lost already. A group of friends approached me. Sabi nila, Floy, if you, if you want to, to have a better life in handling your finances, why not you listen to me? Why not you listen to us? Okay? And then... I, I, I get to have an open-minded uh, I get to be an open-minded during that time, no? parang ano lang, no? power <laughs> okay. so, so I, I attended that seminar same as what you're doing right now you are listening to a speaker like me and then, ganun din ako I, I, I listened to that seminar and that seminar enlightened me enlightened me to become a better person sabi ko sa sarili ko maybe it's about time that I need to change maybe it's about time that I I have this opportunity to get to get to learn something. I have I already have this opportunity that I can change my life and, and for me to become a better person of who I I am. So I changed my life. So I got the very moment ito na to. I I ito na. Siguro this moment is uh, destined for me that I need to straighten my finances. I need to be wise right now to to handle everything. So, yeah, at that very moment when I got my first pay abroad, uh, after I get to learn that through that seminar, no, to that fi first finance seminar, I separated 30%, sorry, 20% of my income. Okay? I was so happy. Wow, 20% of my salary na punta na to my savings. And then the second month, I got to have my salary again. Sabi ko, sige, mag-open ako, mutual fund, stock market. And then, nakapag-open ako. And then, nag-continue na po siya na continue. 40% the next month. Until such time that, hindi ko na lang namalayan that I was already saving and investing 50% of my income going to my savings account and my investment account. Okay? So, doon ko na na-realize na for that very moment, na-enlighten ako, nabigyan ako ng pag-asa for me to become a better person. Just like what you are doing right now. Maybe right now you are lost. Maybe right now you don't know um, how how to get out of debt. How how to how to how to become a better person, a better family person, a better dad, a better son. How to become a better person of who you are right now? Okay, you have to remember that there's always an exit for you. There's always a way for you to become better. 
You just have to decide. Okay? So, that's what happened to me. Okay? Um, I started uh, properly managing my finances. And then, one time, I went to the Facebook, social media, of course. Nakikita ko doon sa Facebook, parang, no, oh, yung kapitbahay namin pumunta ng ibang bansa, nag Hong Kong, nag Australia, nag US. Oh, yung pinsan ko, may bagong gadget. Sabi niya, nung isang araw, nangungutang sa akin, walang pera eh. Oh, the other po, sabi, Oh, may biniling bagong kotse. Okay? So, that's what I saw in Facebook during that time. Parang na, na, napakiramdam, na, naramdam ako na, bakit ganun? Para, ba, why, why am I surrounded by people who are telling me to spend more? So, parang may kulang eh. Parang may mali. And then, I went again to Facebook. I saw Facebook groups. Sabi ko, maybe this is a good venue for me to be surrounded by people who have the same mindset that I am. Like, like I am during that time. Uh, well, until now. So, there we, we have na the Global Filipino Investors. That's the time that TGFI became a community forum. So, the very intention of TGFI during that time is for people to interact with each other. Imagine, um, you have professional people, you have fund managers, you have, you have professors, expert in finance, uh, financial planners who interact with ordinary people like me, like you. Imagine they get to interact for free. Diba? When, when, uh, when we're talking about investing before, sino nagsabi sa'yo that invest, you can invest in the stock market? Normally, if you're a rich person, pwede ka makapag-invest kasi you're rich, you have the capability to, in, to invest already or ikaw yung priority nila na eh, okay. But the common people, it's not their priority eh. Why? Because we used to be common, we used to be with nothing, with hindi ganun di tayo kaya mana, di ba? Well, that's what they think. Okay? So, the TGFI Forum became a venue for all the ordinary people like me and you right now watching to interact, to learn from each other, to become better, and hopefully someday to reach financial freedom. That's how TGFI is formed. And that's the same mentality that we have with the rest of the TGFI volunteers who's been helping TGFI for the last three years. Ganyan po yung mentality natin. Ganyan po nagtutulungan ng bawat volunteers ng TGFI. And that's how we become today. Look at this. We have our, our own office right now. And it all started from the forum. It all started from nothing. It's all about being determined having that hope in yourself that you know someday you can reach that dream and that's what happened to TGFI currently we know what we know uh, we have around 70,000 members and we have around 1000 people watching us right now for this webinar okay and that's what TGFI is all about we want to sp uh, spread financial literacy to all Filipinos all around the world to you to your loved ones to your friends that's what we want to happen Okay? But before that, of course, you have my profile, no? You you get to know me as formerly a bankrupt OFW. So I used to be with I used to be with nothing. My story was also featured in the Real Singapore. And yeah, the TGFI story has been featured in different media, uh CNN, ANC, and we we've been thankful to these organizations na nakita nila how we want to change the name of financial literacy in the country. Sabi nga nung isa kong ano, isa kong mentor, sabi niya Alam mo, Floyd, before, ang financial literacy at as an advocacy, wala naman yan eh. I was so surprised when I heard about it. So, does that mean that maybe it's TGF? TGF is one of the responsible communities na kung bakit we, we the, the uh, term financial literacy as an advocacy is existing right now. And we have to be thankful for, all, for to all of you for your, for your support, for your loyalty. And that's why we are here right now, in front of you. Why we we have uh, all to uh, all all the months that nag-exist tayo, we've been formulating the best service, the best products, the best um, the best things that we can give to all of you. And we are happy and proud to tell you the surprise na ibibigay namin ngayong araw. Just wait for a while. I want to show you some facts first, no? Before we go to the main ingredient of this webinar. Okay. Okay, 
right now, as you can see from my screen, na nakikita nyo, we, we, um, there's a lot of group that has been existing na ultimo, they will offer you um, investments that can grow your money in just a matter of days. So, tinatawag natin, siya mga, tinatawag natin sila mga financial scams. Do you know the stories of Aman Future? You know the stories of the different groups? Um, what do you call this? You know M. Goldex, di ba? As what you can see from my screen, uh, M. Goldex has been declared by SEC a uh, scam. In fact, SEC is now after these people, the founders here in the Philippines, kinakasuhan na po yan ngayon ng, ng SEC. And you know also the story of this group, One Lightning. They are a registered company, but the problem is that the people behind them used to distribute investments. But the thing is, you know the, the, the issue? If you are an investment, so, uh, if, you, if you distribute investments, you have to make sure that you have the second license issued by the SEC. Problem is that groups like M. Goldex, One Lightning, they offer selling investments, but they don't have that second license. So what? They have been declared as scam by the SEC. And of course, you have here in my screen <clears throat> the historical estimated scam amount in the Philippines. This is uh, reported by Ms. Salve Duplito. Okay? So, si Ms. Salve, sabi niya, no? Uh, there are a lot of groups that have been existing. So, na scam. So, we have, um, what do you call this? Mateo Management Group. Frank Swiss. You know, Frank Swiss, naging sikat yan before. Legacy Group, of course. You know, the Legacy Group. Um, Aman Futures. If we're going to add up this, uh, yung total na scam nila, no? Hindi pa kasama yung M. Goldex and One Lighting. They were able to gather 80 billion pesos. Imagine, and then a lot of people are saying, Filipinos are poor. Walang pera. But the problem is that, how come we were able, this, the, these scammers were able to get 80 billion pesos? That's the big problem. Why? There's a lack of, there's a lack of financial education. Wala masyadong, um, wala masyadong kaalaman yung mga tao on how they should learn growing their money the right way, slowly but a sure way for you to earn more. And that's what we want to happen. That's what we want to spread to all Filipino families, exist to all Filipino families today. Okay? So that's just the scam part. Ito pa, marami pa akong figures na papakita sa inyo. So again, no, there, there are only two reasons why people get scammed. It's either you are greedy or people are greedy for money or just financially ignorant. So mamili na lang kayo kung magpapascam kayo. Okay? So another data, another figure that I want to show you. Okay, um, in terms of savings account, there are only 3 out of 10 for every 10 Filipino families, tatlo lang po dyan yung savings account. Imagine, that's 30% of the population. So, where's the 70%? Ano nangyari? Saan nila nilalagay yung pera nila? Sa ilalim ng kama? Sa ilalim ng unan? What happened to that? Okay? So, imagine, if you're a saver right now, or um, you are an investor right now, imagine, if Philippines will get around 8 out of 10 families na may savings account. And then, daming perang papasok sa ekonomiya ng Pilipinas. And if you're an investor, you're the one, you're one of the first few people who get to enjoy this. Okay? So, we're just talking about savings. Other figures, other data. Filipinos who have life insurance, there's only 25%. Okay? There's only 25%. So, where's the 75%? And then a lot of people are saying insurance, hindi ko na makailangan yan. Or insurance, it's just additional or it's not a necessity. Parang additional ko lang babayari yan. It's not, a, it's not one thing that I need. But the thing is that if you're living or if you're a Filipino, uh, per, if you're a Filipino citizen, okay, and then something happened to you. Okay? For example lang, namatay, you have assets. I, I'm sure you want to be rich someday, right? Okay, or you are rich right now. You have a lot. You have lots of assets. You have your house. You have your car. You have investments. So let's just say your house. Okay, I will just assume, yung bahay mo is worth one million pesos. So I'm sure you have bigger values sa bahay mo. But let's just assume, no, one million pesos. Okay, do you know that if something happened to you, okay, BIR, you you died. This is just an example. Hindi naman Hindi ko naman ina-assume na mamatay ka sa joke, okay? So, for example, something happened to you. Um, BIR, automatically, or our government, automatically, will take over, okay? 
10 to 20 to 30 percent of that, you uh, sorry of that uh, amount of the one million pesos, okay? The beneficiary should pay the the estate tax, okay? So it depends, no? 20 percent. Uh, of course, we also have to consider the lawyer's fee. So uh, let's say additional 10 percent. So let's just assume 30 percent. Let's just assume 300,000 pesos from the one million example, ko. okay? The thing is that if the beneficiary doesn't have 300,000, what will happen to the property? Okay, kung hindi po mabayaran, yan na po yung magiging cost ng foreclosed property. Okay, yung mga nasubastang bahay. So that's what we want to happen. So, is that what you want to happen? Or that's what we want to educate to all of you. No, Insurance is not one thing na, ah, kasi uh, na, na pilitan lang ako dahil yung kaibigan ko makulit eh. No, it's not about that. You have to start doing your estate planning. Okay, and the very basic of estate planning is for you to be insured. That's the very basic. Okay. So that's fig another figure. This is another data. People who have mutual funds and UITF, okay? Actually, this is uh, not updated. For 2014, I believe for mutual funds, we have around 280,000. For UITF, this is 221,000. Pero ang last figure na check ko, this is provided uh, by Mr. Marvin Fausto. Uh, for UITF now, we have around 360,000 accounts. Okay? So let's just add up 280,000 plus 360,000. So that's let's just say that's around 600,000 estimated, 640,000 accounts. Okay? So I mean accounts ha? I'm not saying individual, that's accounts. So kasama pa po dito kung, kung may account pa ako sa UITF, may account pa ako sa mutual funds, kasama pa yun. Okay? So let's just assume 640,000. So another figure, okay? Stock market. According here there's only 640,000 accounts for stock market investors. Okay? So I'm I'm going to add up no si 600,000 a while ago and 640,000 right now. That's um 1.2. Okay, round of call. Let's say 1.3 million. Okay? Imagine how many Filipinos we have in the Philippines right now. 110 million and 1.2 million accounts. 1.3 million accounts is what? That's near 1% or even below 1% because I told you it's just accounts, hindi pa individual accounts yun. Okay? So, that's not even 1% of the total population. Imagine if you're investing right now and one day the Filipino people will realize na, oh, there's an opportunity for me to grow my money. Okay? Imagine countries like Singapore, countries like Malaysia, yung population nila na nag invest that's 40%, 50% US, they have I think around 50% or 40%, that's how high it is, okay, of their total population. Here in the Philippines, that's not even 1%. Imagine kung one day, Filipino families will get to realize na I can grow my money pala through this kind of investment instruments, and you were able to enter right away, and then you'll be one of the first a uh, few people who get to reap a lot, a lot of benefits. You'll be rich someday. You'll become financially free someday. And that's what we want to happen to you, to us, to all of us. Okay? So another figure that I want to show you, um, 800,000 businesses in the Philippines. Imagine, um, 800,000, so 100 million Filipinos. So not even 1% of the population. Ito pa yung natin ng point out, no? 99.6 from them are micro or small to medium scale businesses. Yung mga nagsisimula pa lang na businessmen. Okay? So, imagine, if you are if you're an entrepreneur, you're a businessman right now, and then, nagsimula ka na mag-business, naging matatag yung business mo, you'll have a lot of market. You have 100 million Filipinos as your market. Let's just say, no, one Filipino will give you one peso. You have 1 million pesos every day. You bring up 1 million. You have 100 million pesos every day. Okay? That's how. That's the potential for you to become financially free someday. No? You just have to plan well. You just need to plan well. And the best way to plan that is plan with us. You become a volunteer of PGFI. That's what we want to happen. Okay? So again, in terms of financial literacy, there's only 8% of the Filipinos who are financially literate according to one of the surveys done by TV Patrol. In terms of population natin that are below poverty, we are ranked 12 out of 32. 
Okay? And then a lot of people are saying, no? Philippine poverty is a hopeless case. So we want to tell you, that Philippine poverty is not a hopeless case. You have, what you have to do? You have to make your part. You have to do your part. Kung tingin mo, mahirap pa, maraming mahirap na Pilipina, then you need to do something. You need to help them. You need to help our Filipinos. You need to help our kababayans. That's what we've been doing TGFI for the last three years, four years. And you need to become part of TGFI. If you think that you can help through financial education, then join us. That's what we want to happen here. Okay? So, again, I want to share this story. I'm very proud of this story. You know? Kasi one time, there's this guy. He's a truck driver. He approached me, told me, Floy, I want to straighten my finances. I want to become financially free someday. Kasi alam mo, I'm getting old. Tapos yung trabaho ko, I'm a truck driver. Imagine this guy is earning below minimum wage. But when I check on his finances, sabi ko, ah, pwede naman eh. You, you can save. You can invest. And today, this person, he has his own what? He has his own insurance. He has his own mutual funds. He has his own stock market. That's what have happened to him. Okay? And if you don't have an investment right now, imagine this guy can be your inspiration. Maybe this guy can help you na to tell you that, yes, someday I can also be financially free. Kasi this guy, even though he's not earning that much, naging investor siya. Investor siya today. He, he invests in his money and he believes that someday his money will grow. Okay? And I think it will grow. Okay? What else? What else? Um, yeah. As I saying here, in order for your country to prosper, you have to contribute in every small way that you can give to people. You have to remember that you have to make a difference. Okay? If right now you are thinking about yourself, okay, then why don't you also think of other people? Because if you think that Philippines has a lot of potential, okay, you need to allow other people around you to also have to reach that kind of potential. You have to help them to be progressive someday. Okay? So, ito yung gagawin natin. Magtutulangan tayo. As Katijep Eyes watching to us right now, you are watching wherever you are, be part of us. Okay? And that's how. Through our programs. Okay. Other, other, ano muna? Other stories. Okay. So, you know naman that we do our Change for Our Life campaigns. Okay? Change for Our Life campaign is... Um, this is what we do to our financially challenged communities. So, pumupunta po tayo sa mga communities na kung saan, sabihin na natin na they are earning not, not that much. They are earning um, minimum wage as well, below minimum wage. But the catch here is, sa isang pamilya, pinagkakasya-kasya nila yung pera. Yung, yung perang kakapiranggot na nga, pero gusto pa rin nila mabuhay. They, they want to be progressive Sunday. Okay? So, pupunta tayo po dyan, no? Um, one time, when we went to this group of nanays, okay, nung tinuro natin yung concept of saving, sobrang skeptical nila, sobrang negative. Sabi nila, ay, alam mo naman, hindi, ka, hindi naman totoo yan. Kasi nga, yung kinikita namin, kulang pa eh. Paano pa may mga kapag-ipon? Okay? And then, when we introduce to them the concepts, we introduce to them the stories, when we told them that Bill Gates once said, no, if you are born poor, it's not your fault. But if you die poor, it's your fault. When they get to learn all of this concept, sabi nga nila, ah, siguro ya, ay, kailangan ko makinig sa inyo. Okay? And then after two months, three months, when we check on them, you know what happened? May mga savings na po sila. May mga ipon na po sila. Okay? So what we are, say, what we are saying here is that you have to remember that it is not how much you earn. It is how much you save and you invest. Yun po yun. Yun yung usapan natin. Okay? No matter how low you get every month, every day, kahit pa hindi buwa ng sweldo mo, okay? if you want to be financially free someday, do yourself, you'll do something. You'll do something to improve your life. Huwag mong ibagay yung buhay mo sa buhay na ibang tao. You don't do that. If someone is more progressive than you, you don't care. Maybe it You don't care. Why? It's because iba-iba. Iba-iba ang pinagdaanan nyo. You don't know if this person, yung kinocompare mo yung buhay mo, baka naghirap din yan. Okay? You do your own destiny. You, you, you do your own progress. You do your own way to become financially free something. Okay? So again, it's not how much you earn, it's how much you save, 
and invest. Now, I'm going now to the, of course, ito na yung hinihintay nyo, no? how you can create your TGFI community. So, we are moving forward starting for today. Okay? Alam niyo po kasi when, when, um, um, until today, there are a lot of people are asking us, sabi nila, Floy, Floy, how can I create a TGFI community? Floy, gusto ko magtayo ng change for life dito, gusto ko gumawa ng ganito, gusto ko po magturo na investment sa mga kaibigan ko, kabarkada ko, kapamilya ko, ayaw manood sa, Ay makinig sa akin, what can I do, what will I do for them to learn? Okay? All through those questions, isip ako ng isip, sabi ko, paano? How? Okay? When I tell them, oh, you, you form a community, grupo kayo, um, and then, tulungan tayo, create tayo ng community sa area nyo. Some, some are, are doing, doing it, that's why today we have around 23 communities. But of course, there will be people who need more assistance for guidance and this is what happened to us and this is what we want to show you today the surprise that we want to tell you we are so proud of this surprise to all of you that sabi namin we need to launch this right away it took us a while it took us uh, at least uh, i think a year before namin ma launch to and now it's it is ready but before that again no? because since you are already part of the TGFI community watching us right now, ano? so you need to learn our mission and vision as a community. Okay? Remember, our vision, community vision, is for us to have a financially literate Philippines. That's our community vision. Now, what's our mission? We want to establish communities in every part of the world that will strengthen the financial literacy of the Filipinos or every Filipinos. Okay? And we are serious. We are deadly serious, we are really serious to spread financial education in every part of the Philippines, in every part of the world. As long as you're a Filipino or even if you're not, as long as you want to be financially free through proper guidance, through having um, a group, through having a caring group like TGFI, you can reach that. You are surrounded by people who are like-minded. You can reach that. You can be financially free. As long as we're together, as, we, as long as we are working as a team right here right now okay now again our community forum this is just a trivia we started december 26 2012 and our date of incorporation is june 26 2013 okay now our founding board our founding members of course you have me right now in front of you i'm just i'm the founder and the ceo i also have with me uh, doc christian santos you know him see doc is okay um we, we also have mr mario jordan fetalino Okay, um, and we also have Rosalind Sumalapao from UK, and of course Sarah Cairo. She's uh, um, right right now she's in Boracay. Okay, so dun siya dis na kadesti. Um, maybe na siya dun. Okay, what else? Our board of directors for 2015. We want to also introduce to you our board of directors, no? So of course you have me. You have Mr. Danji Reyes, the chairman of the board. We have Doc Christian. We have Francis Carlo Lopez, and we have um, Juanario Jesus Atencio. Okay, they are the members of TGFI, member of the board. Okay, so again, um, a lot of people are saying or telling us business, company, corporation, and advocacy. How can you do it? Okay, I have a question to you. Have you heard of the words social entrepreneurship? Social entrepreneurs. Okay, have you heard of the group like um, human nature? Um, groups like um, Gawad Kalinga, GK, the GK Farm, okay? They're called social entrepreneurs. Salt, Salt PH. You know that? Si Amelie, the one who created the lamp, the lampara, na gamit ang tubig ng alat dagat. They're called social entrepreneurs, okay? And that's what TGFI is. A social entrepreneur is a company wherein they are using advocacy um, they, they, they have um, they are using something or they have a, a business model to help a certain advocacy that leads to a certain advocacy okay so maybe um, GK Gawad Kaligas advocacy is to create or help um, urban uh, to help farmers human nature maybe their advocacy is to help or to, to spread um, natural resources then they'll use it as ointment, as lotion, and then it, it's promoting Philippine um, resources. 
Okay? For TGFI, our advocacy is what? Our advocacy is spreading financial literacy to the Filipinos worldwide. Okay? That's our advocacy. And we are considered to be a social entrepreneur. That's what TGFI is. Okay? So hopefully, it is already clear to you, no? How can you combine a business and an, advo and an advocacy? Okay? That's what we call social entrepreneur. That's the category of TGFI right now. Okay? So again, the one that you see from the, the, from the screen, we have the TGFI team. So we have very selfless TGFI um, staff. Okay? They've been helping us to improve everything we have dito sa TGFI. Imagine you have the office. Nakikita nyo naman yung improvement ng website natin. Nakita nyo naman yung mga improvement ng posters natin. Sa tulong po yan na ating buong team sa TGFI. Okay? Now, um, for also for the last 3-4 years, okay, we've been uh, creating TGFI communities from all, all around the globe. So currently, ito po yung group of uh, leaders that we have. The ones that you see from the screen, okay? So I also want to take this opportunity to thank these people. Okay? So we have um, these people like Ace, JP, we have Dean, we have Ronald, we have Jerry. Um, Sir C. Prof. Erwin from Batangas, Ronnie, Sarah, we also have Renz Liano from Kuwait, we have uh, people from Dubai, Simon, si Valerie, si Rex of course, Rex Olgada and Richard Makanintal, people from Singapore, they've been so much help to us and the rest of the Singapore uh, officers, Hong Kong, and the rest, the rest of the community officers. Alam nyo po, marami, marami naman yung ating mga community officers. In fact, we're around 50, I think. Our number is now 50. These are all volunteers. They've been with us for the last three, four years. Okay? And for the last three and four years, we've been doing our seminars. We've been doing our campaigns, activities, events. You know what? When a community conducts a seminar abroad, TGFI never asks money from there. Okay? So, let's say, ah, nagkonda kami ng seminar in, in, in Qatar, in Singapore. Kung may bayad, ang bayad lang nun would be for the compensation of the place, for the speaker, for the hotel. A lot of times pa nga, yung speakers namin, we don't pay them because they're also volunteers. They are also part of our advocacy. They know the mission of TGFI. Same as our officers. For the last three years, four years, these are called volunteers. They've been selflessly helping us to build the TGFI vision, the, to build the TGFI uh, TGFI's mission for us to become a financially literate country, financially literate Philippines. And I would like to thank this opportunity as well. Okay? well. I would like to thank you guys for helping us out. Now, the thing is that, bucket, uh, right now, why do we need to have a structure for TGFI? Okay? Why? Simple. Let's just say, no? Um, you are a TGFI forum member, okay? So you went to Facebook, you saw TGFI, you interact, you uh, exchange messages, you posted something about finance, about business, okay? So you can probably say na ikaw ay isang TGFI member, correct? Right? Now, next question. What if you log out you close your laptop, you went outside. Paano mo masasabi that you are a TGFI member? That's a big question. That's one of the things that we want to also formalize. A lot of people are also asking us, Floy, gusto ko mag-build na community sa area ko. But how can I build one? Eh, wala nang structure eh. There's nothing that I can follow. In fact, when we were doing seminars in Singapore, no, sila Rex, they were able to create, I think, around 30 seminars for the past year, just for this year. Okay? Of course, they're successful because they're selfless enough, enough to build the seminars and they've never been paid for doing it. Okay? Ang problema lang doon, of course, is that there are also communities that need guidance. They need structure. Para at least may pinafollow lang sila. May simple structure for them to follow and to be guided and this is what this is all about and this is how you can create a TGFI community so for the next upcoming slides please join me more I need more of your attention I need more of your um, understanding I need more of your excitement join me 
as I announce the next big thing okay, for TGFI. Okay? Now, I'm proud to tell you that you have come up with our TGFI structure, community structure. Okay? As you can see from the screen, we have different um, positions. Okay? Ganto yan kasi. Let's just say, I want to create a community. What should I do? What should I follow? Okay. First off, you have the TGFI head support or TGFI main office. You have us. Okay? Anything you need, assistance in creating posters, creating events, um, events through the web, uh, through, through online, through the internet, um, creating posters, um, sending letters. If you need our help, we are here. Okay? You have the TGFI name. We've been doing this. Um, some of our communities were already accredited by the TGFI Embassy through the help, of course, and tulong-tulong ng TGFI main and our TGFI communities. Okay? So that's the first, okay? First part of our structure. Second part, okay? TGFI region head. What's a TGFI region head? Okay, a region head is that, let's just say, I'm, I'm, um, I'm a leader of a certain community. Sabihin natin, for the case of Renz, Leano. Okay, so by the way, hi to Renz, uh, and also to the people of Kuwait. Okay, they're also watching right now. Hello? Okay. Ay, baka naman magsailo sa iba nating mga ka-TGFI. Hi to all of those um, people who are watching. Okay? So, again, this is just an example. So, let's just say I'm Renz. Okay? Um, I am leading my own community, which is Overseas Filipinos uh, Stock Market Investors, TG, uh, of CTGFI Kuwait. Okay? Nililid ko to. And then, another community, sick for uh, mentorship, seek for help, nang nangingi ng tulong assistance, okay? So that means I also need to lead or mentor another community, okay? So if you are holding at least um, two communities or more, you are considered to be a TGFI region head, okay? That's the that's the ano no, ma, 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 malinaw no, you you are considered as a TGFI region head. Now, below that, of course you are considered to be part of the TGFI League of Leaders. What's the TGFI League of Leaders? So we have community officers, community presidents, community heads from different communities. So let's say we have Singapore, we have Rex and Richard, we have Qatar, we have J.R. Rosales, we have uh, Australia, we have um, Australia is, um, who is that, uh, Jasper, Okay, we also have Hong Kong, JP, and Bern. Okay, I'm leaving this community. Okay, now these leaders, of course, they need to interact with each other with the rest of the TGFI leaders from all around the world. Okay, so once you become a TGFI head, okay, you are considered to be part of the TGFI League of Leaders. Okay, so these are the group of heads from different parts of the globe. Okay, now below. Below this is, of course, the TGFI community leader or community president. Okay? So, you are basically leading your own community. Ganun lang siya. Okay? So, um, it's, it's like, uh, let's just say, oh, I, I want to build Makati. Okay? I want to build Makati community. Okay? If we see that you're capable, um, according to our online interview, so again, uh, we'll have an interview for this online interview email. Okay. So, if we think that you are capable to lead your, this community, then we'll give it to you. We'll accredit it. And then, of course, you can be a TGFI community leader or a community head. Okay. Now, below the community head, of course, kailangan niya ng support group. Right? Okay. The support group is this. Okay. You have the TGFI leader. And then, below the TGFI leader, mayroon siyang dalawang support team. Uh, support members. So, the VP external and the VP internal. Uh -huh. Pasal na na medyo nagkaroon na kating technical difficulty yung ating uh, webinar but we're back again. Okay. So, as I explained back, no, balikan ko lang ulit. Okay. As we explained back, so underlying the community leader or community head, okay? You have the two people 
supporting you. Okay? So you have the VP internal and the VP external. Okay? Ano yung functions nila? As a VP external, what you need to do is you need to plan for the TGFI events. Okay? You need to plan for the whole year events of TGFI within your community. Okay? Now, let's just say, uh, in terms of the financial side, the, kumbaga, the, um, dun sa support side, okay? You have naman the VP internal, okay? So, the VP internal will be handling the community finances, the planning of the financials of the community, as well as the accreditation of the TGFI new members within their community, okay? So, yun yung trabaho ko, no? So, you have the community leader, community president, and then under that is meron siyang VP internal and VP external. Now, below the VP internal and external, of course, may support group pa rin po yan na kailangan, okay? So, you have first the newbie consultant. So, what's the, what's a newbie consultant? A newbie consultant is, um, the, the function of the newbie consultant is to handle all of the newbies of the community, okay? So, let's just say, oh, magpapatulong how to sign up online, or magpapatulong kung what are the financial um, financial materials that I need to, to read online or maybe uh, maybe you can also help me how do I start ito yung trabaho ng newbie consultant okay now events head or uh, events head coordinator or program director will oversee the events of the community okay so let's just say may upcoming um, event. So, trabaho yun ng events coordinator or events head. Okay? So, whatever they need, they need people under, let's say, kailangan nila ng people na magmaman for the reception, the welcoming, people that will man the the projector, the technicals, people that will be coordinating with the rest of the speakers. Trabaho na po siya ng events head coordinator. Okay? Now, uh, the next function is a community speaker. Okay? What's a community speaker? The community speaker is, um, of course, the official speaker of the community. So, let's just say, meron silang seminars on a regular basis. Uh, merong uh, newbie session every month, for example. So, si um, community speaker will be the one to head this. Okay? So, kailangan, of course, um, dapat uh, medyo... Sanay in talking to people or talking in front of a crowd, okay? And then this community speaker can also um, accredit other potential community speakers. Okay, so just to clear, no? Okay. For the newbie consultant, events head, coordinator, and community speaker, they can be more than one for each. Okay, for example, ah, community speaker, gusto namin apat dyan. Then pede. Okay? So for, in... in in one position. Gusto namin events head, gusto namin events team. Then you can also do that. Newbie consultant, gusto namin newbie consultants. You can also do that. It's it's up to you. Ito lang, yung structure na gusto natin mangyari is, uh, is for our TGFI officers to be guided. Okay? Especially for our international communities. Um, most of the time, no, sila kasi yung tinatanong for their, for their respective embassies. No, pagka tinatawag sila, oh, I, we need yung structure nyo sa community. Uh, how, paano nyo ipoprovide? Yan yung lagi namin problema eh. So, we want to have a solution. We, we want to help also our existing communities and the upcoming communities. Okay? So, kaya namin ito naisip. That's why, again, so below, uh, again, no, if you are a community head, um, you have two team under you, or two people under you, you have the VP internal extent, external. Tigi isa lang to Okay? Below this are pwede na sila more than one for each position. Okay? So, that's the community officer structure. Okay. Now, um, how do I start from here? Okay? So, ganito lang siya. Right now, you are watching. Um, uh, we are about to launch our newest services. One of our newest services here in TGFI. Okay? Which is what? We have the TGFI ambassador card. Okay? So, the one that you can see from the screen, it says TGFI Ambassador. Okay? We want you to represent us. We want you to be like us. We want you, once you go outside, we want you to be, act like us. Act like me. Act like the rest of the community uh, officers. Okay? We want you to be like us. Okay? How, how will you do it? 
through the TGFI Ambassador Program. And how we're going to do it? Later on, I'm going to show it to you. Okay? But before that, punta muna tayo below this. We also going to recognize, we're also recognizing our community forum members. Okay? So, itong forum members, is uh, basically, these are the people who are within the Facebook forum. So, kasama pa rin siya sa community structure. Okay? So, if you don't want to represent TGFI, then you can be a community forum member as well. But, of course, if you want to be like us, to be to represent us, to represent financial literacy within your community, within your country, as a Filipino, okay, as a person dedicated enough to spread financial education, financial literacy to their fellow friends, to their loved ones, and then of course you can be one. You can be a TGFI ambassador. We're giving you the go signal to be one. Ano yung gagawin? Ganyan to lang po siya, no? We're going to show you the TGFI Ambassador Card Program or Ambassadorship Program. How to do it? So the one that you see from the screen, you have a card. Okay? We're proud to tell you that starting uh, starting today, you can be a TGF Ambassador now. Okay? So we have the TGF Ambassador card that we have conceptualized for the for the last uh, few months. I think more than a year when we were able to finally natapos namin yung pagko-conceptualize ng Ambassador card. How to do it? Or right? So we have some partnerships. So, so we had some partnership with different um, associations, organizations, companies. Okay, we have uh, companies like Irimit, like Beam and Go, Kalum, and the rest that I'm going to show you later. Okay, uh, we have partnered with them so that we can have a better program for all of you. Gusto namin no, pag lumabas ka, equip ka. Gusto namin pag lumabas ka, you have the right knowledge. You have the right coverage. You are prepared. Okay? And how to do it? Through the benefits that I'm going to show you right now. Okay? Right now, um, we have prepared 11 benefits for all of you. Okay? What are these 11 benefits? First benefit. Okay? We have the ZAP. We have a partnership with ZAP Philippines. Wherein, you can get around 5 to 20% discount when you go to a merchant partner. Okay? So, ano merchant partners po natin? Marami to. They have around 500 merchant partners from different parts of the Philippines. Merchant partners like um, Happy Lemon, Converse, um, uh, Dillinger, and the rest of the good merchants. Okay? Or stores. Okay? So, once you go out there, para sa credit card, no? So, once you go out there, um, sabi mo lang, or pakita mo lang, sorry, you just have to show the card. At the back of the card, it has the ZAP logo. Okay? So, madidistinguish na po ng ating merchant partner that you're a ZAP member. So, once you're a ZAP member, um, kukunin lang po niya yung cellphone number mo, then automatic you get the discount. Mapupunta na po siya sa account mo in ZAP. Okay? So, you get around the 5 to 20% discount. It depends on the merchant partner po natin on the range of the discount. So, pero basically, ganyan, that's how it works. Okay? So, that's the first benefit, the ZAP um, partnership. Next, we are also happy to tell you that we have partnered with one of the country's best insurance companies. So this is Film Life. We have partnered with them. So um, you get to be covered. Okay, you get to have an automatic accident insurance that's worth fifty thousand pesos of insurance coverage. Okay, kung may mangyari sa yon due to accident, at least you are covered. Okay, so that's accident uh, death coverage of fifty thousand. You also have coverage of 5,000 burial and coverage of 5,000 um, accident hospitalization uh, through reimbursement naman yan. Okay? So just to be clear, no, you'll be covered if you're age 18 to 60 years old. Okay? So that's the second benefit. What's the third benefit? Let's just say you are you have enough coverage. Sabi mo, ah, I, I, I have enough coverage na. I have more than um, whatever millions coverage with my insurance company. I think hindi ko na siya masyado kailangan. And then, it doesn't matter. Why? Because we have program that we have made only for TGFI. Only for the TGFI members. What's that? The TGFI Protect a Friend program. What's this? You can empower any of your loved ones to become, to have this kind of service. Okay? So, kung gusto mo, sila na lang yung kumuha ng insurance coverage, then you can do that through the TGFI program. Only for the Philippines, no? So, um, gusto mo yung, yung asawa mo sa nalang yung magkumuha mag ng insurance coverage then it doesn't matter pede as long as 18 to 6 years old okay 
So, pwede pong ipasa yung insurance coverage. But, I just want to clear, no? Once meron na po siya insurance coverage, okay? Hindi na po, or sorry, once inavail na po yung TGI Pai Protect, okay? Nung, hambawa, ikaw mismo, inavail mo na, hindi mo na siya pwede ipasa. Okay? But, kung sakali na gusto mong ipasa, ay you don't want to avail of the TGI Pai Protect, pwede na po. You can do that. Okay? Next, we have also partner with Kilong Trading. Okay, one of the country's most distinguished um, schools for um, trading, for fundamentals. Yan yung mga, um, this is with um, Edmund Lee. Okay, of course, he's the son of Edward Lee, okay? the CEO, uh, COL chairman. Okay? So Edmund Lee has his own school, that's Kalong Trading. So they, were, they will go into um, give us an update about the stock market on a regular basis. That's how good our partnership has become, okay? So, what else? So, we also realized that a lot of TGFI, nag-donate po sila ng pera. But yun nga lang, problema, of course, there are times na um, hindi naman namin kailangan yung pera kasi kakapunta lang namin sa isang community or there are times na gusto nila lahat tumulong. Pero of course, there are no way eh. Yung iba kasi na nag-donate, they used to message me. So, sabi ko, oh, this is our account number, padala ka whatever amount that you want to, to send. And then, that way, pambibili po namin yan ng Alcansha. Okay, right now, if you become a TGFI ambassador, okay, all you have to do is, um, automatic na po yan, you become an automatic donor of the Bambu Alcansha. Okay, at least two Bambu, Bambu Alcansha will be dedicated under your name. So, we'll put your name and engrave your name in the Bambu Alcansha. And then, automatic, you become a TGFI donor for the Change for Life program. Imagine, that's how... That's how good it is. We already have five benefits. Okay? So, ito pa. We, we have more. Okay? We have more. You've heard of the Global Summit, right? That's TGFI's biggest event every year. Okay? So, we figure out, if you become a TGFI ambassador, gusto rin namin, makasama namin kayo on this special day. So, automatic, if you become a TGFI ambassador, you get to have 50% discount from the regular rate of the Global Summit um, tickets. Cool, yeah? That's how big it is. That's how big to become a TGFI ambassador. Okay, this is just six. I have five more. Okay, okay, ma beating I have five more here. Okay, what more? What else? What else? Um, you'll be also have a surprise gift from us. Every time it's your birthday, it's a special day for you. We want to be part of your special day, so we have a surprise gift for you. Only from uh, only from TGFI, yeah. Okay. Um, we also have um community endorsement. Let's just say. Um, we have an event within your area. We're going to invite you. Okay, let's just say Singapore. They have a seminar. So through our system, email system, we're just going to inform you. Oh, seminar. Si ganito, you can attend. Okay. So that's um, how good it is to be part of the TGFI Ambassador Program. Okay. Now, uh, kung hindi pa kulang, kung kulang pa yan, meron pa. Okay. We also have Beam and Go. Okay. Beam and Go have partnered with us, wherein you can. For example, um, one of the functions of Beam and Go, kasi halimbawa, papadala ka ng pera sa, ibang, sa Pilipinas, okay? Um, you want to send uh, money, pero gusto mo pang grocery na lang, okay? So, Beam and Go, they have their own partner uh, grocery stores, okay, in the Philippines. Tapos saan, ma matatarget mo na kung let's say, oh, gusto ko 1,000, pwede nila ipag grocery work 1,000. Kasama po yan sa benefit ng Beam and Go. Now, ano pa po yung special um, tie-up natin? Okay, they have agreed to give us an automatic 150 pesos worth of um, um, GC, gift certificate for Beam and Go. So let's say you went to the Beam and Go system and then you want to purchase something, you want to buy something, pwede mo pambili yung 150 automatic if you become an ambassador of TGFI. Okay? What else? So pa po. Um, ito, this is one of the special benefits that we are also proud to tell you right now. Okay? You become an automatic uh, web academy uh, student. Okay? We have prepared five modules to, to all of you. Okay? This discuss or this, this uh, five modules is all about personal finance. Why? Because gusto po namin, when you go outside, when you go um, and when you educate your friends, you want you to be guided in terms of your uh, financial knowledge, personal finance knowledge. Gusto namin na may sistema ka na gusto namin hindi ka mahihirapan. Okay? Which is why we have prepared five modules to you. Okay? This is free. And this costs around 1,200 pesos. But today you get it for free. 
Okay? Five modules that discuss about personal finance. That's how we want to help you. That's how we want, we think that we can also help you. Okay? And of course, the lastly, last of the benefits is the most important part. What? You become a TGFI ambassador. And we're proud. We're proud that we have you right now. We're proud that this time around, you can officially join TGFI as a volunteer and also as our ambassador. You represent us. You go outside, you teach financial education, and you can represent us. We will allow you. Okay? So, now, I think most of you will ask, how much will it cost? Out of the 11 benefits, the insurance, the stock market update, of course, the five modules in the Web Academy were one, two, then the 50% global summit discount, how much will it cost? Okay? I'm happy to announce you that the cost is only 888 pesos. Yes, Katijamai. This time around, we want to spread financial education. And we are dead serious about it. This time, we think that we can empower you to be financially free. We can empower you to, to help your fellow men, your kababayans to be inspired. That's the, the, the same way you inspired me. The same way you inspired this whole team. The same way we've been inspiring the rest of the 70,000 members of TGFI worldwide. Okay? So for only the 888 pesos, you have all of these benefits. You'll be guided well. Okay? And why we are giving it? Even though may, may mga services na mukhang mas mahal pa, no? Sa cost ng ambassador program. Why? It's because we are serious. We think that this time, we need to have a structure. This time, we need to be one solid community. Through the TGFI Ambassador Program, you can be one of us. You can be part of the TGFI's advocacy to be financially free someday. Okay? So what's the process? It's a very easy process. Okay? Right now, you just have to go to this website. So that's www.card.wica.co. You can, you can go now. If you have time, you can go now. Just type in to your um, search link, www.card.wica.co. Okay? Once you go there, you just have to simply fill out the online registration form. Makikita mo naman dyan, be a member. You just have to click that and then fill out everything that we need. And of course, we just need you to do the registration, the 888 pesos registration. May mga konting cost lang po yan if you're going to do PayPal um, payment. Okay? Um, and then... Uh, once you pay for the registration, of course, you just have to wait for our email, okay? You wait for our email, and then that's uh, the email will say that na confirm na namin yung payment mo. Uh, welcome to the email uh, to the TGFI Ambassador Program, and automatic you can already enjoy all of these perks, okay? So um, just to clear, guys, no, um, for the week, the how can you enjoy the TGFI benefits? So again, mga ka TGFI, no, you just have to wait for three business days upon um, uh, we'll, you'll receive our email confirmation na pwede nyo na pong gamitin yung inyong e-card. So e-card means online, no? So you can already avail of the Web Academy modules. Um, by the way, you have to complete the registration form para makuha nyo na po yung benefit for the insurance, okay? Ma nakasama naman po yung sa instruction of our email. And then for... Uh, for ZAP partnership, kailangan na po mag-register um, mag ka through their site. So, may guide na kami na gagawin for you para hindi ka malito. Um, we also have the rest of the benefits that just we're going to do. We're going to communicate to you through email and through our uh, website. Okay? So, you just have to remember the site now, www.card.wika.co. Okay? So, again, for the waiting, for the actual card, the physical card, you just have to wait 15 business days. Okay, hindi naman ganun katagal. It's just 15 business days. Uh, we'll try to be as fast as, as we can. Kasi um, kailangan po namin kasi, um, ma, ano siya eh, it's about um, bug ordering. So, I know you also understand this. But what we are promising to you is that you can already avail of the service once we send you the email. Once we send you the email, username, and the password, pwede nyo na pong ganitin. Okay? So, what's next after this? You know, you are wondering, anong sunod? Okay? Basically, you just have to sign up. 
you have to sign up the TGF Ambassador card. If you're watching right now and if you think this benefit fits you, if you want the 11 benefits, and if you think more than that, if you think that you deserve to become part of the TGF advocacy to reach financial freedom, to help fight, fight, to help spread financial literacy to all Filipinos, and then you are free to join us. Okay? So, um, after this, is, uh, we'll just wait for your registration and we'll announce another um, webinar. Okay? The webinar will happen by December 5. Ano na po itong webinar na to? For all of those who sign up right now for the ambassador program, automatic we will invite you for the next webinar, which is this December 5. What's the December 5 uh, webinar? Ito po, tututukan na po natin yung structure mismo, community structure ng TGFI. How are you were going to do it? Okay? So, well, you, right now you already have an idea how to do it. But of course, pag group group na, na, na namin kasi kayo after that. Okay? So the only way for us to do it is you need to sign up. So once you sign up, automatic pag grouping namin kayo and then um, we'll have you, we'll, we'll um, give you more information about the community structure. So once you have read it, once you have read all of the our terms and conditions, our guidelines, and of course, you can already lead your own TGFI community. And together, we'll, we'll have a better TGFI community all around the world. So currently, we have 23 communities. Okay? So um, we're about to become 100, almost 100, if successful po tayo na lahat nung nanonood ngayon will be signing up, signing up for this program. So if you think that you can be part of this program, you just have to simply go to the website www.card.weekend.co Just register there. We'll wait for you. You have your TGI team, TGFI team waiting for you right now. So, don't worry. You have your team na tutulong, ma na mabigay agad yung proseso. Ma maayos agad yung proseso natin. So, yeah. That's it for me. So, after this, we'll go live for your Q&A, question and answer portion. So, for those who have questions, feel free to ask. So, yeah. Maraming salamat sa inyo lahat, mga ka-TGFI.